Hello and welcome back to our Final Fantasy X HD the of trials lies within. Uh, Platinum Walkthrough. Are you prepared? Are you prepared for the Cloister of Trials? I'm not. But here we go. <laughs> no, I'm totally prepared. Oh, because I played this like two weeks ago. Well, a week ago, roughly. No, maybe. It was a good. All right, Guardian. I played this in the distant past. Anyway, so here we go. Right. No way, I got through it flawlessly, Let's and I'm gonna get it. you through flawlessly too. Shut up, Waka. We gotta go. So this is the Jose Temple. It's lightning themed, that doesn't really matter. There's a door. You notice it's got two grooves in it. Take the spheres, hide the side of the room, put them in the door. That's step one. That's easy. That's easy. You can do that in your sleep. Don't worry about it. Ooh. I had to yawn. I had to... No way was I yawn. to just stop recording so I could yawn. But anyway. So, this is the main room of the temple. Everything kind of comes back to that pedestal there. So, uh, here we go. Do as I do, not necessarily as I say. So, grab this sphere on the right hand side, run over here and put it in the wall on the far right. Run over here to the left, take the sphere. Oh no, the light went out. Obviously we want to light up that whole thing. But it takes a while. So put it over here, on the right. Oh, electricity. So now you want to push... Yeah, push the pedestal over there. Again, pedestals are kind of tricky to push in this. I don't know why, but you'll get it eventually. So that charges up that sphere, and I believe it becomes a Jose sphere. I stood still here for a few seconds, I don't know why. Mostly I was uh, scratching my brain, trying to figure things out. So you can't get around it. You gotta run over here, step on this switch, and it brings it back to the center of the room. That's fine. So now you want to grab that sphere, the Jose sphere, charged Jose sphere I should say. Put it there in the wall. Now, that opens up a secret passage. So you want to grab these back again, plunk one of them into the pedestal, grab the other one, and plunk that into the pedestal as well, if you can stand in the right spot. Now, you want to give this a good old shove up to the north, up to the top room there, and push it right off, just into the electricity. You don't care about it, right? Zoom! Down there it goes. And levitates because of magnets, I assume. And that's cool, because that lets you jump across. And assuming you stand in the right spot. And you can go over here and grab this sphere. No, you have to push the pedestal. Never mind. Never mind, yeah. So you push it into the wall. That lights up the iris of the eye, which is what we wanted to do. Now jump back across, and go back to the switch and get your pedestal back. Great. So take that charged spear back out. Put it back on the left over here. That'll put the eye back. So two more things to do. It should be fairly obvious, but anyway. We're going to take both those spheres out of the pedestal and bring them back to the bottom room, the room where we started. So I'm going to reuse them to open the door. So we're going to run back, put them on either side of the room, that'll light up the windows. Pretty good, huh? So, one on the left. This music is like a remix of the Temple of the Ancients of Final Fantasy VII. I really like this one. But anyway, no, never mind. No. Anyway, the one on the uh, right hand side of the room. Zap! And there we go. So we get that full symbol. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Some kind of owl. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know you guys. So obviously that makes a magical elevator appear. 
Now, I got kind of antsy because the destruction sphere, the sphere, you can actually see it glowing on the wall there. Where where you need to examine it. So I was like, huh. But uh, there's stuff you have to do first. So push these pedestals into the wall. All of them. There's five of them again. So push, push, push. See, there's those three, but then there's two in the back corners as well, which you can't really see. So there's one there, and one directly opposite. So, get Tidus to stand in the right spot. Push it, and that's good. Great, even. That makes a staircase appear. Do not, under any circumstances, go up that staircase. You go up that staircase, it ends the cloister, and you miss your destruction staircase. You can come back and do it again. But that's a waste of time. So let's get it now. Touch this wall. I burped! Excuse me, there's our destruction sphere. But where are we gonna put it? Back upstairs. Right in that pedestal that has appeared there. So, just plonk it in. Bloom goes the dynamite, and we get our item which in this temple is magic spheres. Okay, so that's good. Good for uh, Lulu, certainly. Not that she can use them yet, and it's going to be a while before she can. But uh, don't give them to anyone else. You can give them to Yuna if you want. She already has higher magic than Lulu, so I would give them to Lulu. Of course, if you're using the expert grid, it's up to you. I don't know what you've done with charges. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. So it's the usual shenanigans you around, when you wait in the chamber of faith. Once you try and leave, you know them. But talk to everybody first. Wait here. Well, well, you oh, again. I was wrong. Here's Donna. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You this is great. Bartello's path? the man. First, I hated him, but man, he's banging Donna, and he's the bro. No. What of it? Can I shake your hand? Muscle man wants Arin. to shake your hand. No, sir, Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his nipples, they're so weird. Anyway. So there's the handshake. Arin thinks he's a bro now. He's like, what a good sir. kid. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Brasco Riffraff? You just gotta own Donna. Lel. You call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. What a punk. Bartello, enough. Get back here. I don't know what those flashes were Hang about. In there, but buddy. okay. Hey? <laughs> Everyone's rooting for Bartello now. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Okay. You should Lulu. Try to settle down. You know so Lulu you usually only has like one thing to say in Pick there. spot. Shut up. Wait. Wait. Stop pacing around. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> Please touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Oh baby. How much longer? She sure is taking her sweet time. So now I believe when we try to leave, you know, we'll pop out of the room. Yes. Okay. See, I was right. I was just premature. There's a bird outside being really noisy. I wonder if you can hear that. <laughs> you Birds. Okay, well, anyway. To your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren, too. Somebody's jealous because they don't have a new HD face. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own as a full fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Yes. Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Interesting. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Hmm. 
There we go. We got. Now I say Izion. Uh, it's probably Ixion, though, right? Right. Probably. But I've always said Izion. I'll try to avoid saying anything. I'll just say the horse. <laughs> you know, uh, if I slip up and say Izion, don't go too hard on me. It's just. That's how I read it when I played this game as a kid, and. It makes sense to me. Ixion. Izion. Whatever you prefer. I won't be summoning him much anyway. He's, he's okay, but. No matter how dark the yeah. night, morning always comes. He's elemental, so he's situation. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. Donna has left. Isaru too. So Yuna is conked out in the Nonis chambers the journey because she was up all night healing people. But we'll go get her. I got the chest behind that monk, by the way. I didn't mention anything when I got it, but I got it. I can't even remember what was in there. I think it switched I'm going back to Bisay. So there's Gata. With Luzu gone. Yeah. It'd be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Wouldn't Most it just? Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I'll go soon. So there's Yuna on the bed. She was working until dawn. Healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. We're on a schedule here. Wake up. <sighs> ah. right, she woke up. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. Yes. <gasps> I'm so sorry. It's not like it's mid afternoon. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. No, uh, oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Why just let monkeys wander around in a room like that? They would be pooing everywhere. Ah. Well, whatever. Now oh, here she comes with her <laughs> hyper fast oh, run. It's funny to me. Well, anyway, here we I'm go. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> really, she's at like no four times here. speed. It's great. Oh no. <laughs> Someone's Someone ringing me. Bad hair. What's the world oh, I gotta hang up. Sorry. You could have woken me up. Uh, As you can see, my ringtone is Super Mario Brothers too. That's great. With all tone. that snoring. Uh, oh. oh no! Mm. Everyone's bullying what you is now. It today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too, Sir Orin. Oh. Once That's my text alert. Uh, one up sound. Lead. Super Mario Bros. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we all defeated you, you know, with our cruel jibes. Now, I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized the only one really laughing then was me. <laughs> laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Gas man, so you are, Tidus. Gas man. So save. Mm, always advisable. I didn't edit that out. Uh, I didn't edit this video at all. Well, there's no random battles, so if there's no random battles, I tend to just leave things as they are. But uh, so here we go. More items. Everyone on this road will give us something for our journey. So a halberd, a kimari, with absolutely nothing going on with it. Just garbage. Um, this guy will give us something, maybe. I think so. Yeah, high potion times two. There's a guy who gives us ten potions here as well. Look at this guy. So yeah, ten potions. Off so and here's early. our chocobo knights. Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> She'll be fine. I feel that I have I already rested saved. enough. But thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Harsh. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. There's only huh? three of you, then. Aren't you missing someone? Captain! 
Wait for me! Come on, Bottle Cup. took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you <laughs> expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Yes. Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, Ma'am. Can I just rest a sec? No rest for the wait. wicked class girl. Let's roll out. Work. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, and in the next, we will head for the moon flow. Yes. Yes. Goodbye.